Let's take a look and see how the white flight trial is going. And here's Dr. Scott Ferguson. Hi, Scott. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Good. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. So what do we have here? Well, obviously it's a white fly trial on poinsettias. And we can start by looking at a check and see how what a check looks like. And you can see oh my goodness. wall to wall nymphs. Wow. And I count those with the hand lens. So I look at number per square inch, and I really have to estimate. So uh, yes, because there are just one, so two, many. Three, four, five. Oh my gosh! And you don't see inhale these. The adults are out and about, and uh, as you know, white flies cause problems by their direct feeding. Mm -hmm. But the real problem is they feed so much and they excrete the honeydew, mm -hmm. which makes the leaves a little bit right. sticky. Right. Then you get the sooty mold, which is a black fungus that grows on the leaf, and then can't undergo photosynthesis anymore. Compare that, and then you're gonna see adults flying around, even on the good treatments, because mm -hmm. they're, the, yeah, there's lots of adults in here. in here, and they're flying around, wow, this is crazy. and they Impression. will land on here, probe it to see if it tastes good, mm -hmm. and uh, really nice this is what a good treatment clean. looks like, and this is what the check looks like. Wow. And so far, I'm not seeing any difference between four six and eight ounces okay. per 100 gallons of water right. or whether I use mm -hmm. six or eight ounces of water per pot in okay. the drench. I'm not now, seeing any difference. Now this is um, Promix, I think you have. Yeah, Promix which BX, is a, I believe it's called. Right, which is a peat perlite, that's some of the typical um, applications. One of the reasons why we started looking at these drench volumes is because a lot of growers now are switching away from this kind of traditional mix mm -hmm. and they either have a hundred percent core, they have um, or a hundred percent peat or a blend of different things and so we notice that the wetting pattern is different depending upon mm -hmm. what the um, components are in the media. So we wanted to look at you know well you know if you use this kind of mix can you go lower uh, on the rate, right. but keeping the same volume, and how low can you go and still get that good performance mm -hmm. that you want to get with mainspring GNL? So this looks really nice. This looks really right, clean. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this is not holding at all. Does not look good. This is an Altus treatment, mm -hmm. and it's not working well at all. You can see the see all the nymphs, oh, wow. and you can see the sooty mold now. So what do you think's going I on think, there? I uh, think I will confirm this later. I hope, but I think that this, my strain may be re, uh, resistant to neonicotinoids. Okay. And Altus is a neonic. It's just a different subclass. But uh, yes, or D, I believe. We know that there's cross resistance among the neonics even to Altus. So, um, Altus at seven fluid ounces per hundred gallons of water, using six ounces as a drench. Okay. So really none of the Altus treatments in here are working regardless of rate or how much water was used to drench in. Okay, probably because of the type of wet 